Hey, friendo, Steve here. And Larson. And welcome back to our Dark Side of the Ring Season 1 review recap show type thing. I know uh, today we're going to be doing uh, the, la the, what was it called? The Von Erichs? The Last, last of the Von Erichs. Last of the Von Erichs. Uh, of course, uh, Kevin Von Erich is uh, sort of our guide here in this episode. He's living in Hawaii, mm -hmm. uh, and the, the episode is sort of framed around uh, various shots of him uh, sort of uh, engaging with nature and uh, yeah, climbing I, trees and stuff. Yeah, finding finding the, I, peace, basically. Yes, that's what I was going to get to, is, is him finding peace amongst the years of, of turmoil and tragedy that filled his early adulthood. Well, you can't think of a more diametrically opposed location from texas than hawaii i mean especially in the united states they're very very different things mm -hmm. uh and so i i actually didn't know that he retired to hawaii that was kind of interesting mm -hmm. um and so uh so yeah it was it, it's you, you look at this guy and you think my god just the absolute tragedy that he has experienced in his life over and over and over again and and you can't help but feel you know when you see shots of like him playing with his grandkids and stuff you know, uh, it's like, man, it's so awesome that this guy actually found some peace seemingly mm -hmm. and some joy with his, you know, with, with his family, with his immediate family. Uh, so, so yeah, that was, that was some interesting stuff. Uh, the one thing that sort of interested me, uh, I don't know. I, we mentioned, I mentioned this to you off camera is so it's, it's the dark side of the ring, but Obviously, there's there's an incredible human element to it. I mean, that's that's one mm -hmm. thing that they have really gotten good at, especially in season two, is approaching it from the human perspective, totally, and the the emotional perspective. We saw this with uh, <clears throat> uh, the uh, what was it D Dino Bravo episode where they interview his family. Mm -hmm. um, they could have. This was this was not this this was not a judgment on Fritz von Erich, and part of me wonders if they should have dived at least a little bit into the elements of was what th this. I'm not going to say this is the result of bad parenting, but in terms of having your kids all dive into this. And seeing the results of it um, leads you to, you know, wonder, man, this guy really made some bad decisions with his family. Um, I don't remember them really getting into anything along those lines in the WWE WCCW documentary either. Um, both make a point of mentioning when the 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 first child died. Yeah, very young. How? Yeah. Uh, Fritz became kind of a shell of himself after that. Yeah. yeah. Um, so maybe that has something to do with it. Maybe you know, decisions maybe. made subsequently. Who knows? Um, and I'm not. I'm not sitting here standing in judgment by any means. I didn't know him. I wasn't there. I was decades before I was born. Um, but uh, well, actually, that's not true. It was like they they were popular when I was being born. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, dude, you know, they had Kevin in on this and, and they had like the family in on this. So obviously they're not going to go and, and, and slander their dad. But uh, but yeah, man, it's 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 an awful thing. And you got to help but wonder, man, like putting your kids out there. And, uh, and I don't know, I guess my my paint, my, my point is that I'm taking the scenic route there. The dynamics between him and his sons seems like it would be more interesting to explore on a deeper level if that was possible than what was done here. Yeah. The decisions that were made, yeah. uh, how they all felt about each other, because my God, how many ended up committing suicide? So uh, David, David was the sickness one. That was the yeah. one where he, he was, so in it Japan. was Carrie. It was Mike and Chris. So three. Okay. Three even committed suicide. David died in Japan yeah. from, a, a, I believe, stomach, like a stomach issues. Thing. Yeah. And then their youngest child died when... Jeez. Uh, got, yeah, actually got uh, shocked and drowned in a puddle. God, that is just... At the age just, of six. That's that awful. That's just absolutely horrible. That is absolutely horrible. 
but uh, but yeah, I don't know. It was uh, it was kind of interesting stuff. I mean, it was it was very interesting. It was stuff that it, like you know we hadn't you know it was all stuff that we kind of knew. I think some, one of the more surprising things to me, which I didn't, which I never saw articulated as well in this episode, mm-hmm. was so like obviously one of the elements that play out here is the idea of presentation of 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 um. What am I? The word I'm looking for, uh, appearance, keeping up appearances. Mm-hmm. And hey, we're this really successful family. We're a family of of athletes, of wrestlers, and keeping up that. I don't know. I want to call it like rock star sort of look thing. Yeah. But like, Kerry Von Erich lost his leg in like 1986, mm-hmm. and he literally gave an interview like a couple of years later. Where he went on record as saying, "Yeah, I was in this really bad accident. They almost had to amputate my leg, which is a crazy thing because well, they, they had uh, to amputate his leg." There's footage in this of him at the hospital, like at a press conference, isn't there? But then, he, but it wasn't a situation where he had to have several surgeries after the accident, and it wasn't until like he just started walking it on it. So uh, that was that was another thing. They, that was another thing that this particular documentary didn't really go into, and I don't remember if the WWE one did, but that's what I've read is that. He had several surgeries and he went on it to like it was it was kind of his premature activity on the foot that led to it going bad. And then they had to amputate it. Um, but the fact that I had never seen that, like he had actually said in an interview. Yeah, they almost had to, they were so they were so intent on covering it up mm-hmm. that he actually went out and said the uh, like you know hey they almost had to do this well they did have to do that yeah and it was very impressive how he was still able to move oh I on know. on that one leg that was very impressive stuff it was pretty impressive i mean they even tried to kayfabe uh, another von eric brother yeah um, that was hilarious that was funny lance. which von eric yeah lance there you go i like i like that they brought that up Especially because he was like a popular football, high school football star. Yeah. And like everybody in town knew who he was. And then they tried to bring him in as a Von Eric. And you're, you know, killing the business at that point. It's like, wait, hold on a second. If Lance isn't real, are any of these other guys real? Um, I didn't know too much about uh, Chris Von Eric, the the smallest one, mm-hmm. little one. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's just absolutely tragic. Could you imagine being, you know, the 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 one who is completely different from all the others. He's all tiny, not very athletic, not very coordinated, and yeah. he just looks up at his older brothers and is like, "Look at all these guys that are just like in amazing shape. They're yeah. all super tall. They're all super athletic. They all look great." And then he ends up committing suicide. Yeah. So I uh, guess because the, he was so sad about that. Uh, Chris had asthma, and so that meant, uh, I guess you know, uh, if he, he had asthma from a young age, so he didn't grow. To be as tall as his brothers, I guess the medication he was taking made his bones brittle. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, oh, I think God. that's what they said. Damn. And uh, so I think what happened is he. And they mentioned here that he broke his arm, I believe, during the course of a match, mm-hmm. and that kind of sent him on a bit of a spiral. Yeah, downward. Um, let's see here. I was actually kind of interested that. Uh, so again, I'm trying to remember what I knew about the WWE one. Mm-hmm. But the idea that David was actually sort of considered the star of the group, mm-hmm. whenever because whenever I think of the Von Erichs, so again, like I said, I was just being born while they were being while they were becoming popular. So I didn't all all my info about the Von Erichs sort of comes way after the fact. Yeah, and I've never really researched too deeply into them. I just knew that a bunch of them died. Um, but that David was really like sort of the 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 crown jewel of them, not Carrie. Yeah, and he's the one obviously who died in Japan from whatever the stomach issue was. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like the, the, uh, God, which one was it that, uh, was it Mike? Yeah. Mike was the one who had the toxic shock syndrome and came yeah. back and it was as if he had brain damage because he would talk all slow and stunted and stuff. Um, it's just bad thing after bad thing after bad thing, Larson. Yeah, it really is. It really is. <laughs> did you have, did you have any other takeaways than that? Um, I mean, like from the main story of the Von Eric family, you know, their rise, their fall as as wrestling dynasty, uh, you pretty much got it there. Um, and, and they offer the hope of Kevin finding peace at the end. 
and also to try and to find a way for the Von Eric legacy to live on through his kids, who are both wrestlers. Mm-hmm. I, be- I believe they're both in MLW right they now. They are. That's correct. Yeah, um, and and Kevin has like in promos with them too. Yeah. Um, and so then Lacey Von Eric was. Uh, she was she in was TNA a, for a while. She, she was a knockouts champion or a ta- or knockouts tag champion. Um, tag champion. Yeah. Yeah, knockouts tag champion. Um, so you know the, the they're trying to have the family name live on in the wrestling business. And 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 push the legacy of of you know the 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 Von Erich family um, into I guess I guess a more positive uh, direction. So you know um, that's pretty neat to see his kids go on and wrestle. Apparently, Lacey Von Erich now runs an advertising company in Southern California. Oh, according to Wikipedia, anyways. Interesting. So uh, so yeah, I am I am very interested to see, especially having seen this. I mean, I've always I've always been curious about MLW. I've I've never really had time, perhaps, to give mm-hmm. it a real shot. Um, when all this pandemic stuff is over, I might try to make more of an effort because some of the names there are actually pretty exciting, and yeah, they're definitely names to look forward to for the future. Like, uh, what's it, Jacob Fatu? Yeah, um, oh, he's, he's fantastic. There. Yeah, he's really great. We've seen him a couple times. Um, so, uh, so yeah, man. I don't really know what else to say about this beyond it's all just a bunch of depressing stuff. And uh, and I don't know. I don't know at any point along the way. Could this have been prevented if, you know, maybe the idea within the household wasn't that WCCW was the end all be all, you know, like, I don't know. Like you have Chris Von Eric. Obviously, he's smaller. Uh, did anybody ever attempt to go to him and say, "Hey, listen, man, you can contribute, but you know, it's not going to be in this." Like, let's let's before you get too deep into this. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, know either. I don't know. You know, and 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 yeah, I don't know. I don't. I know. mean, it might it might it might have just been a runaway freight train that nobody could have done anything about. That's entirely possible. Mm-hmm. But you'd like to think, God, I mean, God, five kids, five five people dead. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's that's horrifying. It is. It really is. It really is. <laughs> That's horrifying. So anyway, it really is. Hopefully, you guys have a good day out there. Uh, next week, uh, what's next week's episode? Uh, Dino, no, um, Gino, uh, Gino, Gino. Yeah, is that the next one? I think so. That's the one I have not seen yet. I don't think. I think that's. Is, is that the last one, or is there another? No, one I think after that? Uh, there's one more after that. Okay. Oh, uh, I don't know. I literally have the internet in front of me. I could look it up right I now. I know. The Mula one has it. We haven't watched Ah, that that's the last one. Mula was the last one. And I didn't see that one. Actually, I didn't see that one either. Maybe yeah, sure Gino, one on, the yeah. death of Gino and then Mula. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen bits and pieces of the Mula one. Um, again, very depressing. Yes. Yeah. Anyways. I started watching the Gino one, and that doesn't seem didn't like it's going to be uh, an uplifting episode either. Probably not. I mean, it is the dark side of the ring. I mean, it is called the mysterious death of gorgeous Gino. <laughs> right. Uh, I'm trying to think. Are any of these? I mean, some of the, the thing is, dude. Some of these have like a like a little sliver of <clears throat> like the UWF one. Yeah, Herb Abrams died, but everybody had really nice things to say about this guy. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, like I guess David Schultz. He he. He turned out all right for you know. He became Nobody like died a, in that one. Nobody died well, in that one. A pretty well regarded bounty hunter. A shock. He shockingly like he looks and he looks amazing these days. Yeah. You I know. Guess, I guess John Stossel had a decent career for himself after that. Yeah. Um, yeah, he did. So I guess you know that that one turned out all right for the parties involved. Not everything is super depressing. No. I mean, like the brawl for all one that wasn't super. depressing. Oh, that was, was great. It? Yeah, you're right. So, that was great. Yeah. I like those ones where it's like, you know, just watch them and you're like, like, dude, if I try to show this to Lacey, she would be like, what are you, what is your problem? Are you trying to just bring me down? Because like, that's just like, okay, like the Gino one. And then I imagine the one, the Dino one next week. Mm -hmm. It's like, okay, well they're, they're like murder mysteries basically, you know? Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, so that's kind of interesting, but like five people dying. I know, it's and then sad. there's like there's just so like, a, sad. like a guy in Hawaii climbing a tree. <laughs> it's small consolation right there. Anyways, that's it for us. Thanks for watching. Till next time, we'll talk to you later. Goodbye. Oh boy.